Here the first question is, why are metal hydroxides better alternatives than sodium hydrogen carbonate in antacids? Metal hydroxides are better alternatives to sodium hydrogen carbonate because they neutralize the stomach acid without producing excess carbon dioxide gas. They provide longer lasting relief and do not cause rapid changes in pH which may lead to acid rebound. Sodium bicarbonate on the other hand acts quickly but can cause bloating and a temporary increase in acid production after initial neutralization will take place. The second one is why is aspirin used in the prevention of heart attacks? Aspirin is used in the prevention of heart attacks because it acts as a blood thinner. It inhibits the enzyme cyclooxygenase which reduces the production of thromboxane. It is a substance that promotes the platelet aggregation. By preventing platelets from clumping together, aspirin reduces the risk of blood clotting and it forms in the arteries, which can block blood flow to the heart and trigger a heart attack. This makes aspirin effective in lowering the risk of heart attacks, especially in pupil with cardiovascular disease or high risk of clots. The third one is, why antihistamines do not affect the secretion of acid in stomach? Antihistamines do not affect the stomach acid secretion because they block H1 histamine receptors which are primarily involved in allergic reactions such as itching, sneezing and inflammation. However, the secretion of stomach acid is regulated by H2 histamine receptors which are found in the stomach lining. Histamine stimulates these H2 receptors to promote acid production. Now let's come to the or question. Here we need to define the given terms. The first one is tranquilizers. Drugs used to reduce the tension, anxiety or agitation without affecting the consciousness. They act on the central nervous system of an inducing calmness and relaxation. The examples include diazepam and alprazolam. They are commonly used in treating the anxiety disorders, insomnia and sometimes for sedation before surgeries. The second one is antibiotics. They are chemical substances inhibit the growth of microorganisms, particularly bacteria. They are used to treat the bacterial infections. Broad spectrum antibiotics affect a wide range of bacteria while narrow spectrum antibiotics target specific type of bacteria. Penicillin and amoxicillin are examples. The third term is non-ionic detergents. They are a class of detergents that do not carry a charge in their hydrophilic head. They are made of molecules with neutral polar groups which makes them less likely to form ions in solution. They are mild and less likely to cause the irritation or damage and are often used in cleaning delicate surfaces or in biological applications. These all compounds serve different roles ranging from medical application to everyday household uses.